Hey, it's Dustin with Instructional Technology at Claremore Public Schools. This is Tech Tip Tuesday. <music> On this Tech Tip Tuesday, we will demonstrate how to log into the student's record portal and edit an existing student for the upcoming year's enrollment. To get started, open your favorite browser. We recommend using Google Chrome. And for this demonstration, that's the browser that we will use. Once the window is open, you're going to type ok.wengage.com forward slash Claremore. You're going to sign into your uh, portal using your parent credentials. Type your username and password and click the sign in option. Once there, you're going to click and select the student records portal. Once you log into the student records portal, your students will appear. If you don't know your credentials, send an email to lkibby at claremore.k12.ok.us and they'll get back with you and send you your credentials. You're now working with all of the student records in the system. If you have a student that has been enrolled in a previous year and does not appear in this list, please contact the student's school. If parent or guardian information needs to be updated, you'll have to complete that through the school office as well. To select and to enroll a student, click the Enroll Student link beside each of the student's names. The enrollment screen will load and there are three tabs to help step you through the entire process. The title at the top of the screen will give you directions on how to complete each page. This first page is the student demographics. Verify that all of the information listed on the screen is correct and update the information as needed by clicking in the field or the box. Be sure that you click the save and continue to st step to link at the top right of your screen. We've now moved on to step two. Step two is student relationships. The relationships are associated with the students will appear on this screen. Here you can add a new relation, clear the current relations, or copy information from another enrolled student. You can also update or remove single relationships by using the links by each of the students or the relationships names. Click the update relation to verify the information is correct. Please note that if you are not a legal guardian or not the primary guardian, you cannot change the information for the primary guardian. You're going to scroll through all of the information and check to see if there are changes that need to be made. Please note that the primary guardian must have a default address, a phone number, and an email entered into the system. By each of the records, you're going to click Edit and Remove to update the phone, address, or email address. Once you're finished, click the Save and Continue at the top of the page. Once you click the Save and Continue option, you'll be taken back to the Relationships page. Update and repeat all of the previous steps for each of the contacts. If you need to add a relationship, click the Add New Relationship link at the top left of the corner. Once you click that, the screen will load and you will notice all of the required information is labeled as required in each of the field boxes. Complete the information as needed and click the save and continue at the top right of the screen. If you have multiple students where contact information is the same, you can use the clear relations and copy from another student link on the relationships page to copy that information from each student record to those multiple students enrolled. Now, this only works if you are the primary guardian for each one of those students. Once you click that clear and clear relations and copy from another student link, the confirmation box will appear. It's going to ask you, do you want to continue? A new screen will load after clicking yes, and you can select the link of the student you would like to copy that information from. Click the Copy Relations link to copy the information to this next student's record. The screen will reload and the student contact information relationships will update and the records copied. Please note that you must be the primary guardian on the other student's record 
If you're not, you will not be able to add that contact information to the student that you are editing. Finally, you're going to click to step three. The step three is the documents option at the top of the screen. If there is a document required, it's going to have required beside the link of upload document. If the document is optional, you'll notice that the word optional appears out to the right of the upload document link. To upload a document, click on the upload document link. The instructions for each document will be listed at the top of the screen. Click the Browse button to upload your documents. Once the document is successfully uploaded, a check mark will appear next to the title of the document. If you need to view or delete the document, use the links below the title. You're going to complete all the required forms and documents to complete this enrollment record. Once you've completed all of the required documents, click the Submit to Site link at the top right of your screen. A confirmation box will appear on the screen. You'll need to click Yes or No to confirm the submission. After clicking Yes, you're going to be taken back to the Documents page. Click the Back to Students link at the top of your screen. The submitted status will now appear to each beside each of those students' names. You can only work with one student at a time. If you're working with multiple students and haven't completed the enrollment process for each of those students, you'll need to complete that first student and then move on to the next. If you have any problems or any questions, please contact your student's school site for more help and assistance. This is just a brief video tutorial of the enrollment process here at Claremore Public Schools. For a full video tutorial and all of the features listed in this enrollment process, use the training videos link at the top left-hand corner of your screen when you log in into the student records portal. That's it for this week's tech tip. I'll see you next time.